Are you the person who just loves to build PCs and to have the latest tech for your gaming needs? These guys have the latest and greatest parts that you need and want to build the PC of your dreams. So guys, whatever you want, they have it. So please, please make sure to check out Jawbytes and always support local. So guys, with that being said, do yourselves a favor, head on over to Jawbytes and use the code above, right there. And what that code will give you is a hundred rand off your purchase when you check out with a value over 2000 rand. Not bad, right? So guys, please do yourselves a favor, head on over to Jawbytes and always, always support local and let's start gaming. So welcome back to the channel guys, it's awesome that you're tuning in. So today we're going to be using my very own Raspberry Pi 3B and I'm going to be installing the Batocera Linux operating system on this thing and we're going to check out just how good this thing runs on the system. So with that being said, guys sit back, relax and of course enjoy the video, please hit that subscribe button, join the Idris87 gaming family. So guys, let's start the video. Let's install Batocera. Alright guys, so before we start the video and the process of installing this thing, what exactly is Batocera? So on the website it says Batocera.linux is an open source and completely free retro gaming distribution that can be copied to a USB stick or an SD card with the aim of turning any computer into a gaming console. So it sounds all good to me, so let's get started. So what we're going to do is open up our app called Bolana Etcher. Right, so this is how it looks. Next thing we're going to do is insert our SD card. There we go. Let's close that. So now this is our image that we're going to be flashing. And it's called the Batocera 5.29. And it's made for the RetroPie 3. This is the gaming collection 16 gig by Clubino. So he's a cool guy. <laughs> Let's uh, flash the file. So we're going to click on the first one and battle setter. We're going to select our target is the USB device. Here we go. And now we're going to click on flash. Click yes. And now the process is going to begin. So as you can see it's going to take quite some time. So I'm just going to skip ahead to the end of the flashing and we'll take it from there. Alright, so after all that waiting, we got to wait a couple of more minutes. Got to let the validating do its job, then we're good to go. And there we go, flash is complete. So now guys, we can close this tab over there. So we're going over to this PC. So what I'm going to do is take out the USB. And let's just clear this real quick. So this will pop up after you do this uh, process. So let's put the USB back in. Let's clear that. Clear that. Cancel. And there you can see our USB is named Batocera. So let's open it up. And this is all the files that is going to be that was flashed into the system. So guys, what we're going to do next is take out the USB and plug it into the Pi and take it from there. So let's take out the USB stick. There we go. That's it over here. And there is the little micro SD card. And it's a 16 gig by the way. So what we're going to do is take our Raspberry Pi, flip it over 
and stick the SD card inside. There we go. Easy as that. So guys, now let's hook up the Pi. Let's power it on and see how the system looks. So let's go. So guys, I'm going to power this thing on and let's check it out. So here we go. Insert the power cable. And by the way, I'm using a wired Xbox 360 controller. So this is the first boot of the console. Let's check it out. Okay, taking some time. Okay, here we go. Nice. Pato <laughs> 29. Nice. Under voltage detected. Uh, let's ignore that. Concludo. Alright, so guys, this is Patosera. Nice music playing in the background. So let's scroll through the system that's on this thing. We have Capcom, MAME, Neo Geo, the Thomas Wave, Naomi. Got some open ball as well. Nice. Not sure what uh, Cannonball is. And Mr. Boom. That's obviously a uh, Bomberman. Doom. Nice. Got some Quake. Atari 2600, Atari 7800, got the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo, of course the classic Super Nintendo, nice Legend of Zelda sound there, the N64, Nintendo DS, PlayStation, SG-1000, Sega, Sega Master System, the Mega Drive, 32x Dreamcast. I have no idea what Pi game is. <laughs> and of course, we have the Super Graphics. Let's go down. We have Cody. Not sure what that is. Anyway, so got the arcade classics, favorites, and back to Capcom. So let's do a couple of games. Let's go with the arcade. Yeah, nice music. <laughs> uh, let's go with Alien vs Predator. Yeah. Capcom. Okay, Alien vs Predator, let's begin the game. Okay, let's uh, pick the Predator Hunter. City of the Spear, alright, let's go. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Nice power attack there. Do it again. Let's pick that up. Super Magazine, 
Time to shoot him down. Yeah. Couple more seconds and it's up. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, check out something else. So let's go down to uh, Neo Geo. Let's try out some... You know what, let's try out Ken Ryu. Cool game. Okay, let's go with uh, Musashi. Episode 1, let's go. Whoa! What? Come on now. No! <laughs> Alright, I died. Let's uh, go on to something new. So, let's try out Naomi, which is the Dreamcast. And I got a couple of games on here. So, the thing with this Raspberry Pi 3 is, it's not that powerful as the Pi 4. So, let's try out Naomi which is a Dreamcast uh, emulator. So the thing with this is the Pi 3, I'm not sure it's going to handle all of these games running very smooth, but I know with the Pi 4 most of these Dreamcast games run pretty smooth. So hopefully in the near future I can get a Pi 4 and use this operating system and just see how smooth it is. But for the sake of this video, let's try out um, Marvel vs Capcom 2. Let's see how smooth it runs. Alright, Naomi. Gotta wait for the game to load. Load, load, load. Come on now. I used to play this a ton at the arcades. Ah, oh, not looking so good. Not looking good at all. So let's try, <laughs> let's attempt to play a stage at least. Let's go with Spider Man. And it's a tempt. <laughs> Let's see how it actually runs when we do the fighting. Alright, so it runs smooth. The character selection screen is very jittery. Uh, same as this. Fight. Oh, not looking so good. Very, very stuttery. Oh! Nice! Right, here we go, Spider-Man. What? <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, let's exit. This game is way too jittery. Alright, so... I'm pretty sure the rest of the systems will run pretty smooth. 
like the super graphics. Sega 32X should run smooth. These Mega Drive and NES, they should run pretty smooth as well. Same goes with the PlayStation. But the thing I want to check out is the... Let's go over here. The Atomus Wave. So, I really want this <laughs> games to work, but I don't think it's going to. So, let's just see how bad it is. So, we're gonna try out uh, Rumble Fish. Not sure why they call it fighting game fish. Anyway, let's check it out. Sammy. Alright, all backup data was cleared. Yeah, Thomas Wave. Okay, let's in a couple of coins. Let's see how this runs. Hopefully it runs smooth. Okay, looking good. Okay, let's go with him. So far, so good. I've never played this game before. So let's pick it up. Whoa, bad, bad, bad. Seem to be doing okay. I'm just mashing the buttons. Okay, very very stuttery. So guys, um, gonna exit this game. <laughs> All right, guys. So I've seen enough with this Batosera operating system. I hope you guys have seen enough as well. So my thoughts on this thing is. It's pretty good, you know, but with the current settings with my Pi 3 that I have, it just doesn't quite cut it, you know. I need quite a bit more power, so hopefully in the near future I'll get the Pi 4 and these games should run much, much better. So guys, I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. So from me, Idris87Gaming, you guys take care and I'll see you in the next one.